Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're at the entrance to Gaia Prime and I'm not gonna wait any much longer, so let's activate the scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. As we have been doing Ready for a while now. You are clear to proceed. See you later, silence. See you inside. Okay. So this facility was largely destroyed by Gaia herself in a last ditch effort to get rid of Hades. And one of my goals over here is also to get that final power cell because I have a feeling it might be in here. Would be logical to me. Gaia Prime arrival log. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hill. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they're incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice? We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> oh, you will. You're what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. So wait, is this Elysium as well? Where they send the scientists after their work was done? Mind your footing. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, over there. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. I am gonna keep my eye out for those power cells. I don't wanna miss a single thing. Drop. I'm just gonna take a look around, because I really, really don't wanna miss anything. Doesn't seem like there's any items over there. Hello? Anyone still alive in here? Stupid question, but okay. Jesus Christ, my controller was rumbling and everything. For some, somehow these holographic displays are still active, but... Huh. Of course, it would be easy to just do this, but I... This place looks like a mess. Let's go over here. Seems like that's the easiest way to going around here. And there's aerials all over the place. Shit. I don't want to miss that final power cell. I really don't. There we go. This is not where the game is pointing me towards, I think. Because it's still points me in that direction, not this direction, so I'm wondering if I'm on the right track by being on the wrong track. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! This should be the last power yes! To get that ancient armor I found. Yes! Awesome! Okay, so that's great. So I have my final power cell. I don't need to worry about anything else for now, so um, let's continue climbing, I suppose. Okay, continuing our way down through this rickety structure. Okay. Kind of feel it's, like uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well, D don't answer. Wait, why? Why why don't answer? I kind of missed the joke there, I think. Okay, let's go deeper. Oh, glad that's over. Anyone here? No, still nothing. Draw 
down. Oh, am I glad I found that power cell? Otherwise, I would have been worrying all the way. And we wouldn't find it anywhere else. Again, a humongous facility. Doesn't seem like I need to go over there. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once, this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Yes, indeed. That's an astute assessment. There's something over here. Lock by Margot Shen. The cord. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more... Shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults. All of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Kaya Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold. Flaring. Dying. Some will be beautiful. Some horrific. None of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp before the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself. To a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia. And her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. I think she has been lonely, even for an AI. So yeah, Marco Shen... Uh Accepting her faith. Um, it's gonna go always in the opposite direction. You know me by now. I always go in the opposite direction first. So this, the other room was Margot Shen's. She kind of um, confirmed that this is not Elysium. This is just the Gaia Prime facility. And yeah. I'm just trying to find out where we can find Travis's... Uh, room or this might be it actually no charles ronson evacuation happens so fast no time to think things through no time for goodbyes there were lines in the medical ward i told tom paik i'd be with him when he went under but there was one last shipment of parody sadie zygos i could get processed if i rushed i'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Alright. So, wait. The Elysium facility and Gaia Prime were actually pretty close together, so... We might have been to either of them already, so what the hell? This is a weird looking pipe. Not like anything we've seen before. Going from one room to the next. I'm guessing something is still gonna go wrong, but... For now, it's quiet. Like, really, really quiet. As in, everything seems to be dead. As it should be. Who 
Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process... I'm not doing anything. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Okay, then. So I did check them out. Cursory scan indicates severe damage, corruption, data corruption from impact and exposure damage. Why aren't any of the other ones damaged then? Can I check that out? I think we can't access them for now, so... I think the only way forward is up here. Now what? Ah, okay. If all else fails, just jump. Okay. That looks creepy. What is this? Yeah, indeed. What is this? What is this bunch of... Oh. They're roses. Like holographic roses. Here we go. This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who I signed up for? Either we sent someone out or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh no... Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's alright. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh... See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, alright? Liz. I'm okay with this. the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Wow. That was... heavy. Um, she was actually wearing the shield weaver armor. Which is interesting, to say the least. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. We always knew we that. Knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. 
Stop acting like a machine, not in the way you mean or you just don't get it. Look at her face at the moment. Don't want to break the emotional moment, but... Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for you. Loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. What are they getting at? They're not gonna bring her back, are they? She's she's supposed to be dead. I mean, we're at over a thousand years later than Yeah, never mind. Um These are probably probably eulogies. Charles Ronson. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. Gene locked for Elizabeth Sobag, by the way. All your children, after all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was dazzling. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobeck. There's only one. I miss you. The Lightkeeper Protocol? So that was kind of programmed inside of Gaia then. To make another Elizabeth Sobek. But that... That's interesting. In the cradle there was a drawing of those children being led out by a, a figure that was made of light. So the Lightkeeper might have been uh, talking about Aloy herself. Look, Liz, you are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Thank you, Travis. Always the most down-to-earth guy of them all. And then from Ted Farrow. Rest in peace. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. That... That was it? That seriously was it? Great work, Dad. Great, great work. Just shut up and... Jesus. The cause of this all is gonna say something. Yeah, yeah, great work. You did great. Sacrificing yourself for all humanity. Great, great job. Great job. What are all these side rooms again? Too many side rooms. Core control log. <coughs> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages. Unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, oh, I'm sorry. With Liz... gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates. Constant updates. Hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. 
Liz always said keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? Yeah, what can he do indeed? And why was everybody still accepting towards Ted Farrow? He was the guy that started it all. He was the guy responsible for this crap. Because Elizabeth Sobek warned him about the the swarm, the AI that controlled the uh, the robots, and he just didn't listen. He just wanted to make a profit. And another elevator shaft. There is something over here. The future from Ted Farrow. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history. A whole lot of so-called truth. A whole, a whole lot of noise. It's not tablet, Les. It's poison. Okay then. It's starting to get a bit dark. Well, it's been dark a while now, but... That was kind of foreboding. A really short message, not saying all that much. It was kind of hinting at what Apollo stood for. Isn't what he wanted the children to learn, the children that came out of this cradle. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, what the hell? She sometimes jumps really, really weirdly. Doesn't go forward at all just to grab a ledge. Oh, everything's shaking again. I don't know why it would be shaking at this point. This is ridiculous. There we go. And another audio log right over here. Okay, again from that Pharaoh, the solution. I've, I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. It's clean, it's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make it better, Liz. With a single stroke, make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Yeah, indeed. Continue. I have a feeling that Pharaoh blew up the project somehow. Caused Hades not to act like he needed to act. Because it's... I kind of feel like Travis would have done his job correctly. And it might be that Ted's interference caused it not to go correctly where the hell I'm curious sorry can't help myself I'm too curious about this what, what else is there oh so this is the way back out okay good to know so let's go back up there we go and let's get into the control room Three, two, one, and another scanning door. Although there is an no, there's an area on the left. There's an area on the left. Don't. Oh god. What is this? Oh shit. What happened to them? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. He killed the mole. But for what? Okay, that's clearly what we need to activate. Is it gonna show us a recording of what happened here? Oh god. Here we go. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, 
Please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. Wow. Holy shit. That Pharaoh is one big asshole. Seriously. So, he's responsible for the end of the world, and then he decides, you know what, this nice project of yours to just keep everything alive keep the culture alive and everything I'm, I'm just gonna wipe all that and then just kill everybody who could have done anything about it in one fell swoop hello silence he killed them all so this is why this is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future blameless men he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we're living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Okay. Claim the master override. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Can I get out of here? I can. Because I want to see what's in here first. Just the freaking loot box. Why was that locked off? Because you could, you couldn't enter this room because the cutscene started before you could do anything. But okay then, let's get this master override and get it over with. Click. The master override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Um. Do you put that on your spear as well, or what? Return to Silence's workshop. Okay, that's pretty easy, because it's right down the uh, dead ride. Sorry, I'm walking all over your corpses. And I shouldn't say it's easy, right? Because, uh, yeah. Something's gonna happen. I don't know what, but... Ow. But something's gonna happen. Is there something over here? No. There we go. And then... Uh, oh. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Keep holding, keep holding. Why wouldn't it hold? Why wouldn't it hold? Um, wait, I need to get back up, right? Yeah. There we go. And then we're here, right? I think, yeah. Uh, you're here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Oh, God. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been 
involved with the eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. Oh, it's gonna be evil. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Oh, God. And since he now knows that Apollo is empty. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because he's gonna because stab your success you. This depends on knowing this. Okay. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian. The Spire. Now, why would that be? Because the Spire can. The spire was created by Gaia. Probably immediately Which access all the corruptors. M Minerva, its code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Oh. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. Okay. Please tell me more. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So yeah, Hades indeed. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land, Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. Interesting. So neither of you actually cared about Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? 
Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> A thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. Not anymore, probably, since we crashed the network. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. It's funny that Hades didn't realize that Silence could... well listen to the the network he created so when did i come into this our path together when olin stumbled on you system threat detected that got my attention a kill order against a savage nora girl why would hades bother with that but then i saw that this nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora Mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest as they used to say, is history. As they used to say, is there nothing you won't do for knowledge? You've done what you could to make up for your mistakes. Hmm. I don't know. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. Well, you did. <laughs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. What have you done? Take my lance. Exactly. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Silence! I love her sarcasm. Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. <laughs> I was merely... True that. Trespassing. He's a cool character, but... Kind of a dick. He still is. Okay then, did that complete... Oh, wait, what? Was that there before? Did I scan that? Buried shadow, duplicated focus data from silence. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the glint hawk that perched upon the alight? <sighs> it speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, 
Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Well, that was easy. That's because he looked like a fancy AI. Everybody just started to following him. And then this one, the first meeting. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sundom's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Frame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. Okay then, so that was... It's very interesting, because that's a conversation between two... Well, a man and an AI that both have a separate vocabulary in the same language still. But they used words that each other, well, both of them didn't understand from each other. And then this one intercepted transmission. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing. Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O oh Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. And there we go, the entire story in uh, a few data points. So, let's uh, combine his lance with the override stick. The master override. Here we go. Ooh, it's glowy. Obtain Silence's Lance. Is that now the thing that I'm attacking with? Yeah, it is. So interesting. So that's now my new melee weapon. Let's see the looming I shadow. I'm glad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Derval, I know he'll defend the city, but the Spire. Recovered a powerful weapon. Another trophy. So we need to head to the Spire eventually. Wait a second. What was that? So this is probably the first journal entry that was decrypted. Just wrapped inspection of Gaia Prime site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room remind me of starship bridges and those cheesy old science fiction vids. Living spaces for alphas already completed. Prefab modules. Fingers crossed we never have to seal ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. Spent last week at the Bryce site designing Zero Dawn project labs, drawing up protocols. The base we're repurposing was huge, plenty of room for workspaces and residence blocks. The work crews already set up my office slash lab. I'm not a fan of the glass wall, guess Murray's intention was to ensconce me as all-seeing presence. Ugh, opposite effect. Makes me feel watched on display. Tempted to paint it over. Harris recorded his presentation yesterday, suitably bleak. Scheduled to record mine Friday. As soon as reception, lounge, holotheaters and first residence block 
at Zero Dawn site are finished, we'll start processing the candidates being held outside Tucson 27 already. Extraction teams prioritizing Pack Rim, Pacific Rim and Aussie candidates. How scared and confused they must be. Snatched off the street, carted, uh, carted across the world, held in cells. Here's hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Going to catch a few hours sleep here, then fly back to the Zero Dawn site. Harris promised delivery of the QB lattices by noon. Expect Mark 1 will take two weeks to machine, assemble and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 0.6T grounding. From there I'll spin her up past 1T. Is that Turing? Wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.38 Turing record. MIE can go hang sleep. There we go, that's the first of Elizabeth Sobek's journal entries that are decrypted and repaired by our focus. Um, so yeah, as I was going to say, I'd like to thank you guys enormously for watching and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!